I just want to welcome you. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'd like for us to start out with you just sharing a little bit about yourself when we first met and what you've noticed different over the four weeks of us working together. My name is Greg Pote. We've been talking for four weeks now, and the change has been amazing. I work in banking and sales, and I've got a new pep in my step, so to speak, and it's become noticeable to other people. It's not just something that's on the inside. I have people mentioning, hey, you sound great. What are you doing? What's happening in your life? And so it's been a progression of finding who I was again and being able to focus that energy into being me and to gain the, the success that I've won. That's fantastic. Over these last four weeks, what are you noticing different, Greg? Uh, my attitude about most things has improved greatly. I am not procrastinating like I was. I'm not a Pollyanna. Everything's going to be great every time I talk to somebody, but I'm more willing to move on past the bad experience. I've had sales calls now where in the past, I'd have had the gruff response and I'd have folded up like origami and walked out the door and I was okay. And then moved back into my presentation and I didn't let it bother me and let, and, and end up having a good conversation with the customer after he told me he didn't want to talk to me. So in re regards to your sales, how has that been different? It has been amazing. I was off the first week of July. So the second week of July was when I started my July. And by the end of that week, I'd hit 60% of my objective for the, for the month. As a matter of fact, I, when I was talking to my boss the other day, I bumped my objective up another 20% Fantastic. on my own because I'm like, I, I can do this. Before, if I was at 60%, I would have been um, just tickled to death with that month. And now it's, okay, let's just start. Now, we've talked about career transition and possibilities mm -hmm. of making a change. What's happened with that? I had talked to you about moving more into, into project management. It was something I had done in a previous job and really enjoyed the, the interaction with the whole process. And so I've started looking into getting my project management uh, certificate. In the meantime, I've had a, a, a company reach out to me who's basically talking to me about a job that really fits exactly into that description. It's a project management job, and it also lets me bring in the experience I've had with the banking because it's part of a banking company. So I get to do what I like and use experience that I've had in the past. And it just come out of the blue. Uh, yeah, it was great. People think I make this stuff up. Yeah. It's just so much fun. We revamped your resume and revamped your profile. So people aren't understanding that LinkedIn works like a magnet for you when you've yes. got everything lined up. So your evidence of that taking effect. So I appreciate you sharing that. And in, in, in the meantime, I've had a, a recruiter reach out for another banking job locally. It's, it went from, what am I going to do to, okay, which one am I going to pick? And now you get to be in the driver's seat and you exactly. get to choose the one that sounds good, aligns with your values and fills your uh, pockets. I remember in us working together, you shared some experiences where normally would have been catastrophic and that has changed. Would you mind sharing about that? Let's talk about the barbecue fire because that one was, I, I'm out, I'm smoking a brisket. Here I've got $80 worth of beef on the, on, on the grill. I've got people coming over and it catches fire. And a year ago, it would have been an absolute disaster. I would have had a meltdown. My, my girlfriend is watching me from the kitchen and she just knows that I'm going to be Human, pardon the pun. Yeah. And... After I got everything put out and realized that everything was okay, actually, I didn't have, I didn't have to get the fire extinguisher out and call the neighbors in, but I walked inside and she sat off to the side and she was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And she stopped and looked at me and she was basically like, what's up with you? Because normally she said this would have been a crisis and I would have had to talk to you off the ledge. And she said, I'm watching you sitting out there with your silicone gloves and towels and stuff like that. You're trying to put out a fire and you come in with a grin on your face. That's fantastic. And you enjoyed the rest of the evening. Oh, yes. Everybody came over. And I have one friend who, I guess it was last week and weekend before last, I was over at his house for burgers and dogs and watched a ball game. And he's still talking about the brisket. And I'm like, dude, that thing was on fire. That was the best one, right? Like, yeah. you can't make this stuff up. Then the other thing that you mentioned was that somebody came into the bank that you'd known for a long time and made remarks about how yeah. you appeared. Yeah, so a, a, a good friend of mine, I've known her, well, 
gosh, almost 30 years. And she stopped in the bank to, to do some business and we spent some time and talking. And one of the first things she said to me, she said, I don't know what you're doing different, but she said, I don't think I've heard you sound this happy in a very long time. And she said, whatever it is, just keep it up. I'm starting to find myself here. I'm happier. I like my job again, but I'm also seeing that I know that, and especially looking over the resume and, and, and I'm looking, I'm like, who is this person? Because my Lord, it just keeps going on and on. I had a friend of mine that was up here from Florida, and that was one of her comments. She said, you sound so good. She said, I, after the divorce, she was worried about me. She said, I'm not worried about you anymore. Oh, that's great. So congratulations. You've done a great job. And uh, if anybody was considering working with me, what would you tell them? Don't hesitate. Don't wait. Because the longer you wait, the, the longer you're going to be kept away from what is going to happen to you. So just get in and, and get ready. Get ready because we rock and roll, don't we? Great. There you go. Get it at it quick. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. My pleasure.